Well, I've been begging you to buy uranium since right here. And here we are, and it's not gonna stop. So why aren't you in yet? There's no reason not to be in. This is a weekly chart. This is the volume. We still have another day of volume to put in. This is the beginning of a major multi-year bull market. It's not gonna stop. We have a long way to go. If you're not in, you're crazy. Okay, so as predicted, gold's coming down with a little bit of relief from Europe. Uh, tensions are simmering down a little bit, but we're no longer at a point and we really never were at a point where we're going to trade gold in or out of it uh, based on uh, war or war fear or, um, you know, Eastern European turmoil. The gold trade is purely fundamental based on math, <laughs> okay? based on sovereign debt crisis, based on numbers, uh, based on the fact that the Fed can't stop inflation. Um, and if they do, they're going to destroy absolutely everything. All right. So. This is a can't lose trade. You're not trading it uh, because of the war. You don't really care about the war narrative, but it is getting a wartime premium. But whether that sells off or not, you don't care. All you really want to do is buy the dip. So you're looking at, uh, I don't know, 1920 would be a great spot. Um, it's hard to kind of judge where this might fall, might hit the trend line, maybe. Um, we'll have to watch it and see. It wouldn't surprise me to see one last flush down uh, before the next final leg up in a big big way we talked about fertilizers and uh look what's happening i mean we're breaking out higher again on good volume again ntr looks good looks like it's going to take another leg up ipi same thing i still haven't gotten any of this i still want this um but i put more money into uranium again today i just couldn't help it uh it's so much safer and but this looks good. If you're looking to get in agriculture, I mean, these stocks look great. They really do. They all look great. Now, looks you, man, good stuff right here. And look at that volume too. I mean, it's truly breaking out. Silver stocks look so good too. I mean, here's AG, one of my all-time favorites. Everybody loves AG. You broke down out of this uh, descending trend. We are breaking back up uh, the long-term pennant trend, and. Uh, we're somewhat of an ugly W pattern here. If you look at some of the other silver miners, they form it a, a bit better and they have this less left and right side a bit more equal. AG is uh, tough to track like that because it's so bullish and so many people love it that it, it tends to, to get in and out of patterns early. But if you look at the broad sector, uh, this is a bit of a double bottom that's happening here. And that's why it's so important that uh, even if AG is the only silver stock in the entire world that you want, you still need to look at all of the other equities in the sector because they will, well, they should chart somewhat similar, but you can find continuity in patterns and double bottoms and stuff. So that's why you should never only look at one stock. You should look at the sector because you can find that continuity and that confirmation of breakouts at those same key levels. I mean, this is happening. Um, Silver tried to give us a bit of a fake out here because on each individual uh, stock had their own level to break, right? They all showed that same shooting star fake out. Like, oop, we got peekabooed, right? It wasn't actually gonna break out. And we came back and then we came back with nice volume to settle and close above um this is happening across the board and so this is very 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 bull see the same thing it's happening everywhere this is clear confirmation that silver is on its way up long term same thing happened here gdxj i mean look <clears throat> putting in an ugly cup and handle um but we're breaking up out of this downward channel here and we had the same thing here too, right? This was the key level to get above. We had a shooting star above it, fell back down, and then what did we do? We came up big with more volume than the day before and we closed above. So this is continuity across the board, gold and silver. They're breaking out. If you're not in, go ahead and get in. It's going to be tricky to time. Again, you might get one more flush down. I'm not saying we won't, but when this stuff takes off, it's not coming back. All right, and I've already told you about uranium. I already told you about the platinum. I already told you about all these things you could have bought, right? I mean, look at Lightbridge. Why didn't you buy it, right? I've been talking about it since last back here on the first video, right? I've been telling you about all these things, and look where we are, look what we're doing, okay? It's all happening. You just got to have faith in the trades and faith in the thesis and buy it on the technical levels. It's just that easy. 
totally called it on oil. What did I say? I said, nobody wants to be up here. I'm getting iffy about it. I don't want anything to do with it. Next day, rolls over. Not a surprise at all, at all. But again, oil needed to sell. It needed a relief rally, or excuse me, it needed a relief sell-off. Um, not to say it won't come back here and um, turn around and go back up. Again, the world is unpredictable right now, so it kind of makes uh, oil very risky to trade. Uh, because it's just as likely to go up here as it is down here. I mean, anything could happen. Uh, let's assume that the Fed does begin to raise rates. Uh, QE is over. If it stays that way, if they go ahead and let everything roll over, and the Fed <laughs> the Fed has no put, right? Like, they're just going to let the bottom fall out. I mean, oil's going to collapse, okay? Because output's just going to stop. It's going to slow down. I mean, we're going to be in a lot of trouble, guys. And you can see... On the gold oil ratio, we hit this key level here, and now we're reversing hard after being dramatically oversold. It is still very well within the realm of possibility that this bounce puts us back in the channel and we end up having the type of crisis I expected to have to begin with. What happened to steel? What did I say? We saw it right here. I said, man, I don't like that candle, but this will be a good learning experience, right? Because I said, what happens if we roll over, kind of skim this trend line a couple times and go up? Huh? And now what do we do? I think that this was probably going to end up being a good buy. We're going to come back and check this out again. But if you don't have any exposure to steel and you want some, especially with these exploding nickel prices, uh, now might be the time to get in. United States Steel X. And again, nothing's changed on Bitcoin or any of the crypto for that matter. It is a uh, dead investment walking <laughs> unless the Fed comes out and prints money. That's just the reality of the situation. It doesn't matter how many people lose access to banking. In fact, uh, this whole situation is proven that you can't run to crypto because what did uh, Coinbase do? They took all of these Russian accounts, all these people who ran to Coinbase to put their money in the Bitcoin they turned them off. Coinbase shut them out. So now they lost all their money, right? It's like there's two rules <laughs> in crypto. Buy high, sell low. And if they're not your keys, they're not your coins. So if you are ever going to invest in any kind of crypto, you better not keep it on an exchange, all right? You better transfer all of your crypto to your own personal wallet. Because if the day ever came where they decided to ban this stuff, then guess what? You're going to lose it all.